Hello, in this video we are going to take a look of how we can add a sticky header or navigation menu to a card website. If you don't know, card is a uh, one-page website builder that can help with these nicer websites. I made a complete review in a previous video. I will let the link in the description to my previous video so you can check it. To create a sticky header, you need to have the pro standard plan at least because you will need to add some uh, embed widgets in there that will make the bar sticky. You don't need to have the pro plus plan because we're gonna see how we can check the ID of the header and uh, we'll make it sticky. So in here I have uh, the website, let me open it. And I want to have this part to be sticky. If I scroll down to remain fix, I want to, to have it all. Uh, I have written an article in here with all the steps and with the code in here. So there are two codes that we're going to use. One that will do the sticky on mobile also. So this will do the sticky header everywhere. And the second one is the code that will not make the header sticky on mobile devices. Maybe you don't want to have the sticky header on mobile devices. Let's go and uh, do these things. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to go and check the page settings. So I am here in the editor with the template that I want to have the header sticky. In here you have the hamburger menu and you go to pages. And in here you, have, you need to have the padding set to zero for the page. In case you don't have the padding to, to zero, it will mess up the position of the, of the header. So that's why you need to have it zero. The others things doesn't really, really, really matter. For this, I already have it set to, to zero because like this, I am usually using a card. After you set to zero, then click done. The next thing that we're gonna need to do after we change the page setting is to check and see the container that we have. So in here, if you are not in the Pro Plus standard, you, you, are no, you will not be able to add your, your container ID in there or a class and you need to find out your container for the header. So to do that, you just go into a Chrome and hit the inspect element. Here we have the HTML code and in here you see that the div ID for the header, in my case, it will be the container 01. So you can use this one to, to link it with the, the code that we are gonna, gonna add. So let's go and uh, add the, the code next. So let me copy first the code that uh, will not make, make this thing sticky on mobile to start with this so we can check it first because we need to make some adaptation also for mobile to look good. Okay, let's let go. And in here, what we can do is to add the element that will make this thing stick. You can go at the end to, to add it. Let me go and add an embed. And in here you have the options to choose the type code. And in here you can put the name. I'll put sticky in line and in here we can have the the code so this is the code in here you have the container 01 the id that we have just seen so why now if we click save our header should be sticky let's save this and see what is happening on uh, on the demo so you see that why now if we scroll down the header it's sticky but it doesn't really look good right now the the second container moved up and we don't have the correct space in here. We're going to fix that. But let's go and see, for instance, what is happening on mobile. And right now on mobile, you see that everything is looking nice. And the, the header, it's not going with the with the scroll. So let's go and fix the, the desktop container. You can also, if you are in the Pro Plus thing, you, you can also set, for instance, if you go here and in settings in here, we have the, we will have the, this option enable so you can set your ID. You don't need to, to fetch it with the inspector, but yeah, I don't have that plan. So I'm just using uh, the inspector to check the container ID. So, okay, right now let's go and add some space in here. So you've seen that when I've added the CSS code, everything moves up with the space that you have for the header or the navigation. and. To add some space in here, we just need to go and add, for instance, a divider in my case. 
Okay, the dividers was added here. I'll move the divider in here after the first image. I will put it in here because I have like a picture in here that I am going to, I am using and I want in here the divider to be there and I need to add some space of, at the top of the divider. Can also make the divider transparent in case you have other colors. And if you make it transparent, you will not uh, see it. Okay. Right now, let me go and uh, modify the margins of this thing. Okay, so that should be should be enough. The other thing that we want to do is to go into the mobile and set the margin to zero. So it will not add anything and it will not mess the mobile option. So let me save this and see how it's looking. We can change the, we can change the margin as much as we want until we're happy. So you, you see in here that right now the design is looking nice and if we scroll down, everything is looking okay. You see in here that you have the space added for mobile. You see that uh, everything is looking nice like before. And if you want to have everything also on mobile, we just need to go and copy the second code. This code, basically this code is not having the media screen in it. That's the only difference, but you need to know CSS to modify it if you want. It's not that hard for this. You can change the minimal width in here if you want. Okay, let's go and uh, add the code. So same, we we'll go and change this and we add our code. And in here, we're gonna go and save. We'll see that this will be also sticky on mobile and you see in here that it remains sticky on desktop and right now if we go and uh, change the size of this thing you see that this is sticky also on mobile but the problem right now is that we don't uh, have a good uh, header on mobile you see in here that uh, my newsletter subscription is not really showing and it was uh, added under the, the header to fix this, again, we're going to go and add a divider for this in the other part. So we first have added a divider in here. Uh, the, in this case, uh, I changed the, the order of this thing. So on mobile, I have this thing first and this thing second. So that's why it's like if, if this thing will be first also on mobile, I will just have gone and activated the divider on the uh, mobile also and added some uh, margins in there. But in here is not the case, so I need to add another, another divider. So let me go and add another divider and I will do the same things. Let me move this. And uh, right now the divider is added, but uh, we need to go and change some settings. So for the desktop, we're gonna change the weight doesn't really matter. Right now it kept the transparent thing we go and change the margin of this thing to not mess up the things on the pc and bigger screen on one mobile we go and add about nine and see how it's looking let's go and save this and let's view the demo so on the desktop nothing changed because we enable the thing only for mobile and right now if we go and uh, make this mobile friendly you will see in here that right now the header is visible to the newsletter subscription and the header it's also the sticky and uh, yeah it's looking nice so yeah in this way you are adding uh, your sticky header on a current one page website in case you enjoy the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and like the video see you in the next tutorial